Yeah, maybe it's better now if you want, if you want to ask us some questions pertaining to that because then I'd like to show you this instrument. Uh, we we're going to take a break. We'll just go straight through because we have to go to the sound check after. Yeah. But now we'd like to ask the thing when you ask any questions. The actual the melody at the beginning, is that located with guests uh, also, or is it just, is there actual spaces in the beginning that are like pauses in the melody? Yes, uh, yeah, the, the melody is actually noted, but uh, the way that we phrase it, the melody, we phrase it differently each time. Uh, and that's, that's something that we have to feel as we each other. See, that's why we, we don't never, we never cut the, uh, we never say one, two, three, four, go. Because we, when we start, from the time we start, when we hear the sound, we can hear the tempo and the tempo of yeah, and, and you have to remember that. Um, you don't have to remember. But I mean, <laughs> the, the drummer is the drummer who is the lifeblood of the group is, is, is not here. So it would give it a different, you know, complexion if the, the drummer was here because he's, he is the lifeblood. You know, it sets up the rhythm and counter rhythm, et cetera. You know. Yes. There's, there's a question for uh, Mr. Hayden. Everyone, though, I noticed um, Charlie Hayden was doing it more. When you play notes or phrases, do you feel the notes or the sounds moving through your body in certain places or coming from different parts of your body? I mean, for instance, when you were playing lines on the bass that went up and down, you went, you got a lot taller and then went back down. <laughs> you know, uh, one thing about physical involvement in music, it's very difficult because unless I'm speaking to myself now. When I'm not playing, I'm very often physical. I don't move gracefully. I can't dance. <laughs> I can't dance. Uh, I don't feel, you know, I see gymnasts and I see dancers and I envy them because it's so beautiful to be able to be free and move like that, you know. And then when I'm playing music, I don't think about movement, but I'm playing. And the physical movement that happens as a side effect of what's happening happens and people tell me that wow, you really move great when you play. <laughs> but I, I don't think about that, you know. Uh, the only time that I think about it is when somebody calls it to my attention and says something about it. So you don't think of and, the origin? Yeah, I think that it plays much more uh, of a role than I know about. You know, I mean, I have never really gone into that study as far as the physical involvement creating music is concerned, of feeling the music physically, uh, because I'm so involved in it emotionally, and yeah, it's very difficult for me to do. Thanks. Question for Charlie. Eddie Blackwell is not here, and you are really the rhythm section for the time being. What's that like? Uh, first of all, do you, do, you, do, you, do, you get to, do you get to do that often, especially performing or anything? Or, or what, and what, what different problems are you What do you have to do well, um, I play sometimes without drums in different situations. It's the same um, as when you're playing. We never play with, uh, with uh, a chordal instrument playing with it. Sometimes Don plays the piano, but usually when we're all playing together, uh, we're, we're playing without a piano. And uh, we all make the chords happen the way we play. And when you're playing without a drummer, uh, if, if you're intentionally playing without a drummer, then that's the way it is. But if part of it is missing, then it's, it, it makes it a little bit more. Because Blackwell is really a very special person. 
plays drums the way no other drummer plays. As a matter of fact, I was just saying yesterday we did an interview with Don and I were talking about it and, and how great he is. And I was expressing my feelings in a way that sometimes I feel like I like he's playing for me. He's so powerful and uplifting and, and his sensitivity when he hears and feels. He's very sensitive to each instrument and the range and timbre and the sound of each instrument. He can play something on the cymbal or something on, on one of the drums that brings out a certain range of the instrument. It's just phenomenal. He does it. So I miss him. Yeah, yeah. But he can do that because he's played much good drama. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't be. Yeah, I mean, you could do that because you played with people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speak about uh, your, your concepts of rhythm inside and outside and how you can do that. And, uh, you know, just like you can explain that uh, Tom Bella can get into the explanation of the rhythm of the concepts, <coughs> how you develop them. Well, I mean, uh, one important thing is um, for, for instance, um, when you speak about our drummer, and his concept in playing with him, which plays a major part in the, the music, in the phrase of the music. And he has a, a, a special thing, Blackwell has, uh, an independence, where that he uh, can play with his left that stops him, but he can play one, he can say like one, two, three, 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 chick, 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 chick. With his bass drum, at the same time, he'll say, kung, 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 chick, 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 kung, kung. And then with his hand, he's playing a whole different rhythm, all, all, all different. Now the importance of that is the one. He can do that because realizing what that what that one is. And in rhythm it's so important to really knowing what the one is. Because once you really feel what the one is, then you can stretch it out to different you can ch change you can change it in different uh, cycles. Or you can go all around and come back as long as you know where that one is. And you have to have a good concept of where the one is and that's how you can always be able to come back and you always know where you are because you know where you are. Is there always a one? Yeah. <laughs> there's always, I mean, that's, that goes back to the whole of a lot of things. You know, that there's something more. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I have a question I'd like to ask the three of you. Um, it has to do with uh, the body can soul and concept. I'd like to know uh, when you solo, if your concept relies on the structure and chord changes, you know, in the tune, or if you use uh, a lot of outside things to influence what you're playing, or if maybe it's a combination of both or, you know, other things. No, well, I think the, uh, the improvisation, which is like 95% of the tune, relates to, to, uh, to the melody, whatever melody stated at the beginning. And when you uh, when you improvise around that, you know you're relating to that to that structure. However, that can be uh, very complex because you know, like you might you might be thinking of the melody, but you, you might also be thinking of a, uh, uh, a different phrases that go with the melody, or maybe go against the melody. I, I like to say this. Um, nobody asked me, but I'm gonna say this. <laughs> uh, Trying to figure out music is difficult, as I said before. It's very difficult to describe things and words, you know. But one thing that occurred to me after after years of trying to figure out exactly what this stuff is, you know, um, one day it came to me that of all the people, I want you to think about this too, all the people I like, you know, whether they're classical, Indian music, opera, jazz, singers, the saxophone players, they, they all didn't look alike and they all weren't born under the same sign and all that other stuff. You know? and, and, you know, uh, they weren't the same color, weren't the same sex, you know. Everybody I like.